So the fight's just been announced for the Bama World Title Fight Lightweight uh, against uh, Gavin Sterrett, November 14th, Barclay Card Arena. Um, I've been training anyway, there's no change for me. Um, I'm good to go. Nothing at all changes for me. We, I've got amazing coaches, amazing, amazing training partners. My job is just to turn up to the gym and improve every day, regardless of opponent, regardless of whether I've got a fight announced or not. So nothing at all is going to change for me. I'm just going to get my ass in the gym every single day, improve. And the, the steps you see on November 14th will be 10 times the steps you saw last March. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it's going to be for every fight, whether it's a world title or not. I, I prefer for every fight like it's a world title fight, so there's no change here. Well, obviously every single morning I'm down here at SPG on the max, uh, same as the whole team, whether there's a fight announced or not, you know, that never changes, we're all here training, improving every day. Um, in the afternoons and nights I'm back at my gym, uh, full contact performance in Rochdale, I'm working on specific areas, the Jiu Jitsu, pad work, strength conditioning, all that sort of stuff. Um, that, that's a year round process for me, I don't do training camps, um, I don't switch up my training because of a, a certain opponent or anything like that. I, I train all year round. Closer to the fight, we spar a little bit more, we work a little bit more intensity, work a little bit less volume and that's it really. Apart from that, it's, it's all year round. My job's to improve. Nutrition for me doesn't... It, it, I've got a sponsor called Buffbox who they prepare all my food for me. They, they do everything, they send it up to me twice a week, uh, which just massively takes that burden off my shoulder. Um, my nutritionist Lee Moran works out my calorie intake, but I work closely with him and then Buff Fox make all the food, send it up to me. That takes a massive burden off my shoulder. Again, so all I need to worry about is turning up and improving. I'm, I'm fit all year round. I'm, I'm never out of shape. I could, I could fight on a day's notice all year. Um, so all I need to do really is concentrate on improving. You know, I used to put a lot of weight, uh, but I found that that's got um, it's ups and it's downs, you know, I think there's a point of diminishing returns with that. Um, so now I'm not cutting anywhere near as much weight as I used to. I'll still be cutting a bit, um, but the weight I cut now, it, it doesn't affect my performance in any way. Um, as, as you've you know, if you've been watching my last two fights, you can see that, you know, my last fight against Jeremy Petley, I went three hard rounds and I finished him in the last round and I was as fresh as I was at the first at the start of the first round, you know, and that's the way it's going to continue. First fight on Bama, I finished by rear naked choke in the first round. Uh, my second one, I finished by knockout in the third round. And uh, this fight, I'm going to be looking for a finish as well. You know, I'm going there to make an improvement on every performance. This performance needs to be better than the last, and I want it to be better than the last. It will be better than the last. Yeah, I'm excited to be doing this blog for Kingdom MMA. Uh, keep an eye out over the next few weeks. We'll have loads more stuff going in, training blogs, uh, bits of pad work, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can see how we do it. 